Stoff, you have a winning record for the first time as players at Lamar. How's that feel? Uh, it feels good, man. Uh, we've been working hard in practice. You know, it's just been aligned to the games. Coach has been getting on us every day in practice and on the games. It's just been related. It's been winning so far. Andrew, you talked about, I mean, your, your, your night, your second half, I mean, everything was going right for you. Uh, did you just feel like you were in, in the groove? You, you couldn't miss. You, you just kept wanting the ball coming to you. It just looked like you just want to keep shooting over and over and over. Um, my teammates found me. Uh, I had the confidence. I saw that we were lacking something in the first half. You know, so I decided to uh, just be a little bit more aggressive. My teammates found me and held the results. Donovan, what changed at halftime with this team? Uh, our, our defense and our effort, man. Uh, we, as the first half, we, we didn't play with much effort. We didn't play with any passion and nothing at all. But uh, the second half, man, we just wanted to come out with energy, focus on our defense, and uh, that, that uh, eventually helped us win the game. Talk about even coming down the stretch. I mean, teams like to foul you because y'all had problems at the line. You were clutch down at the end of the game. How big was it to finish strong at the free throw line? I mean, we, we work on free throws every day. You know, it's just about going on the line and just focusing and, and pretending there's nobody in the gym. You know, so I think that's what we did, and we were able to knock down our free throws and pull away with the victory. For you guys as seniors, it's, it's a situation where Tyran picks up his fourth. He's got to sit. At that point, do you guys view it as putting some of that responsibility on yourselves to help lead this team when it's leading scores out? Uh, well, it's, it's always our responsibility. Uh, you know, when ties out, you know, it's just, it's just enough time for us to step up in the big moments of the game and to close the game out with a victory. You know, I think that's what me and Andy did when, when Ty got out. We just had to close the game. It's a long road, and uh, of course, everybody knows <clears throat> no postseason tournament, but you can still win the South and Conference Championship. How important is it for y'all to get off on a good foot, get this first win, and get the thing rolling? This was very important because we had a lot to prove coming in the conference, you know. We had some uh, non-D1 school scheduling that we played Rice and we beat them. And I think it was still a question mark out there. So coming in, also we had a chip on our shoulders because the preseason pulls had us last. And this team beat us last year, so it was more of a sense of urgency coming out in the second half. The energy from the fans, uh, do you notice a difference now with it being conference play than it was before? Uh, yeah, it's, it's a big difference. Uh, once school starts back, uh, we're, we're hoping to have more fans, but uh, it, was, it was definitely loud tonight. Uh, I love the fans. We had, we had the, one of the best fans in the conference. Uh, it, was, it, was, it was really good tonight. Really good. A lot of talk has been about this idea of learning how to win, of shedding away you know, all the, all the negativity, all the losing, and just learning how to win. How far along do you feel like this team has come in, in that respect? I mean, I don't think it's us learning how to win. I mean, everybody that came here came from winning programs. I think it's just us getting rid of that old culture and then the coach staff coming in this year and instilling a, a new culture and a, a winning attitude. So I believe that's the key to, uh, you know, continue on through the season. At this point, starting conference like we have, ran into a team at the first that pretty well played you even up, and then you went in and made the adjustments at halftime, and then they came back out and took control of the game. How do you feel about that as far as the maturity of your players starting to gel as a team? Well, we're, we're proud uh, of the fact that um, this team understands we, we will be good when our effort is good. If the effort is not good and we don't play with the intensity, then we normally don't play well. So that's the uh, – I would answer your question, though. We did win first, so we felt like we got our scrap the first half and the second half. We just felt we had to exceed their effort. We couldn't match it. We had to exceed their effort. But we also had to take care of the basketball. I think we had like 16 turnovers in the first mm -hmm. half. And uh, it was important. If we took care of the basketball and played stop defense, that we would have a chance to win the game. Mm -hmm. So that's basically what we told them at halftime. Do you feel that team is just – Feeling the confidence now that they have five straight wins out there? I don't know how confident we are, but I do know that the mood is, is very good right now. Um, anytime you get a win, it's a sort of a mental health. Guys uh, go into practice, everybody's in a better mood. They work harder for you. Um, we did ask our players to try to take care of home, our home court and protect it as much as you can. And they were very determined at night not to lose at home. Um, but yeah, any time you win, it builds confidence. And I think we're playing with a lot more confidence than when we did in November when we were getting beat. Coach, speaking of home, 
how did it feel to you as a coach, and I'm sure the team appreciated it, that once we kind of got to where we were back in the game and took the lead, then the crowd really got involved. And I'm sure that's got to be a great feeling for you as a coach and as the team. You know, it was a big part of having a home court advantage. The fans have got to be the be that six man. Again, we all, I know it sounds a little bit corny, but we all got to be strong together. Not just the team, but the, the fans got to be in there and they got to get into the game. Our bench, if you watched our bench, our bench was more into it than anybody. They were encouraging each other. And that <coughs> this team have a lot of love and, a, and uh, they care about each other. And even though maybe one guy didn't play as much, he's always encouraging the other guy. If you guys watched during the course of the year, uh, bench really, uh, they're very positive with each other in terms of encouraging each other. Uh, but uh, it's a collective effort with this team. We don't have superstars. Uh, we got a group of guys that um, they understand we're trying to change a culture. Uh, they want to be a part, be a big part of that change. Uh, we don't want to get too how about this is just one game we got like 17 more games to play so uh it's for us it's, it's one game at a time and they don't get too high because they won in one game you i won't let them get too high you touched on protecting the home court but how do you, you keep things rolling as now you hit the road i don't know uh we're just gonna have to play the way lamar plays basketball and that's with a lot of intensity try to create turnovers turn points into turnovers uh, we got knocked down shots, um, and we can't get caught up into uh, playing in a hostile environment. We just got to continue to execute. We got to get a contribution from our bench. We've been getting that pretty much all year, and uh, we've got to be a, a very poised when you play on the road. It's really tough to win on the road, but uh, when you, I, I'd rather go to New Orleans with a win than coming going to New Orleans after a loss. So we will go in there with a little bit more confidence and somewhat of a swag. You gonna try to keep them away from the beignets over there? Well, I live there, so I, I know I gained about a hundred pounds when I was there. So I try to stay away from it. Uh, Coach Anderson lived there too, and um, we will probably get some gum. At this point, starting conference like we have, ran into a team at the first that pretty well played you even up, and then you went in and made the adjustments at halftime, and then they came back out and took control of the game. How do you feel about that as far as the maturity of your players starting to gel as a team? Well, we're, we're proud uh, of the fact that uh, this team understands we, we will be good when our effort is good. If the effort is not good and we don't play with the intensity, then we normally don't play well. So that, uh, I would answer your question, though. We did win first, so we felt like we got our scrap the first half and the second half. We just felt we had to exceed their effort. We couldn't match it. We had to exceed their effort. But we also had to take care of the basketball. I think we had like 16 turnovers in the first mm -hmm. half. And uh, it was important. If we took care of the basketball and played stop defense, that we would have a chance to win the game. Mm -hmm. So that's basically what we told them at halftime. Do you feel that team is just – Feeling the confidence now that they have five straight wins out there? I don't know how confident we are, but I do know that the mood is, is very good right now. Um, anytime you get a win, it's it sort of a mental health. Guys uh, go into practice, everybody's in a better mood. They work harder for you. Um, we did ask our players to try to take care of home, our home court and protect it as much as you can. And they were very determined at night not to lose at home. Uh, but yeah, anytime you win, it builds confidence. And I think we're playing with a lot more confidence than when we did in November when we were getting beat. Coach, speaking of home, how did it feel to you as a coach, and I'm sure the team appreciated it, that once we kind of got to where we were back in the game and took the lead, then the crowd really got involved. And, I'm sure that's got to be a great feeling for you as a coach and as the team. You know, it's a big part of having a home court advantage. The fans have got to be the, be that six man. Again, we all, I know it sounds a little bit corny, but we all got to be strong together. Not just the team, but the, the fans got to be in there and they got to get into the game. Our bench, if you watched our bench, our bench was more into it than anybody. They were encouraging each other. And that <coughs> this team have a lot of love and a, and uh, they care about each other. 
And even though maybe one guy didn't play as much, he's always encouraging the other guy. You guys watched during the course of the year, uh, bench really, uh, they're very positive with each other in terms of encouraging each other. Um, but uh, it's a collective effort with this team. We don't have superstars. Uh, we got a group of guys that um, they understand we're trying to change a culture. Uh, they want to be a part, be a big part of that change. Uh, we don't want to get too high about this. Is just one game. We got like 17 more games to play. So uh, it's, for us, it's, it's one game at a time, and they don't get too high because they only one game. You I won't let them get too high. You touched on protecting the home court, but how do you, you keep things rolling as now you hit the road? I don't know. Uh, we're just going to have to play the way Lamar plays basketball, and that's with a lot of intensity, try to create turnovers, turn points into turnovers. Uh, we got to knock down shots, um, and we can't get caught up into uh, playing in a hostile environment. We just got to continue to execute. We got to get a contribution from our bench. We've been getting that pretty much all year. And uh, we've got to be a, a very poised when you play on the road. It's very tough to win on the road, but uh, when you, I, I'd rather go to New Orleans with a win than come and going to New Orleans after a loss. So we will go in there with a little bit more confidence and somewhat of a swag. You gonna try to keep away from the beignets over there? Well, I live there, so I, I know I gained about 100 pounds when I was there. So I try to stay away from it. Uh, Coach Anderson lived there too, and um, we will probably get some gum.